The Shining is directed by Stanley Kubrick, starring Jack Nicholson and Shelley Duvall. Jack Nicholson plays a character named Jack Torrance. He is hired by the Overlook Hotel as a caretaker. The Overlook Hotel closes down for the winter for a few months, so they hire a caretaker to stay there and make sure everything's running okay and the place stays nice and well kept. So Jack Torrance uh, takes his wife and son there to stay with him and the place is haunted and the ghosts there drive him crazy to where he wants to harm his family. Stanley Kubrick directed the hell out of this movie. The cinematography and the shots, the editing is all perfect. This movie is very eerie uh, it's just dripping when you when you watch this movie. And the performances by the actors is really, really good. Now, if you've read the book, you probably know this movie is very different from the book. And I am okay with that. Usually that annoys the hell out of me. But this went in a good direction. Like, I really like uh, this movie. And it's not really... Um, an adaptation uh, not a true adaptation but yeah a lot's different and I, yeah I'm okay with that uh, I really like the movie and it's public knowledge that Stephen King does not like this movie and he has once said that the characters feel like cardboard cutouts and I have to agree with him and that's where my first negative is coming in um, yeah the characters there wasn't nothing to them you don't learn really anything about them uh you don't learn their likes and dislikes uh they're not fleshed out really well uh like they are in the books or in the book and so yeah like when bad things start happening um well for me at least i didn't really care um about the characters and and the shit they were going through really now, I've heard a lot of people, when they review this movie, they say it's perfect. They can't find flaws in it. And I disagree with that. I don't think this is a perfect movie. I do think it has flaws, and I will get to those. So I've talked about one flaw in the movie so far, but the second one for me, and I could be wrong about this one, uh, if you, like, maybe I missed something, and... Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But Danny, the little boy, he has a power called the Shining. Or the Shine. And so it just didn't really play a big part in the movie. And I don't see why they couldn't have just cut it out. Because it really wasn't necessary at all. I mean, the movie is already like really different than the book. So... Since you're already going into a different direction anyway, why not cut out that part too? Because it really just didn't serve that big of big of a plot in the movie at all. It just to me it just wasn't necessary, and they could have cut that out entirely and rewritten it a little bit. And uh, yeah, it would have worked fine as a haunted hotel that's driving uh, you know Jack Torrance crazy and stuff like that. But The Shining didn't have to be in it at all. It just didn't really serve a, a purpose. Um, and another one is at the beginning of the movie, maybe about 30 to 40 minutes uh, into the movie, the acting seems average. Um, well, in the whole movie, just about... Um, well, yeah, I would say the first, the first half of the movie, um, I could tell I was watching a movie. And that's kind of bad because you want a movie to take you out and make you feel like you're actually watching something real. And I didn't get to that point until, you know, shit started hitting the fan. But yeah, at the, at the beginning of the movie, um, the acting was just average and, you know, it was okay. But yeah, that's really the only three issues I had with it. And I popped in this movie expecting it to be an S rating uh, which is my highest score I thought it was I thought I was gonna give it that but uh, after watching it and thinking about it for a while uh, yeah that's the three issues I had with it and I'm gonna give it an A 
So it's still a good movie. Um, you know, most people don't have a problem with this movie at all. They don't have issues because I've heard so many people say that this is a perfect movie in their mind, but not not for me. Um, it's it's a good movie, but not a perfect movie. But anyway, guys, that is it for this movie review. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.